Sharks. Sharks by Anne McGovern. Pictures by Murray Tinkleman. Now this is a very old book on sharks, Apollo. So some of the information might not be accurate. What do you think of that? But because they changed how much sharks they had. Well, they've done additional research. And I don't know. Most of the information could be correct. But I don't know because they've changed their research. The date this book was written was 1976, according to the copyright. That was a long time ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's read it and let's see how the information has changed. Dad even Way before, it was before Daddy was even born. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Then who even bought this? Well, this was Dada's older brother. So, my older brother, who's like 11 years older than I am, had this book. So, yeah. Are you ready? I give it to you. Well, somehow we got it. Mm. Mm. Well, now somehow you have it. So... Okay, are you ready, Paulo? Yep. All right, let's read about sharks. How long have sharks been around? There were sharks 350 million years ago. They were at the dinosaur times. Mm-hmm. Before there were dinosaurs even, there were sharks. Dinosaurs died out about 70 million years ago, but the sharks lived on. Sharks of long, long ago looked much like the sharks of today. Here's a picture of a shark. A shark is a fish. It lives in water and breathes through gills like all fish do. Do you know what the gills look like on a shark, Apollo? Do you want to come point at the gills on this shark? Where are the gills? Yeah, those are the gills. Most fish have skeletons made of true bones, but sharks are not bony fish. Their skeletons are made of something softer called cartilage. Yep. The bones in the end of your nose are made of cartilage. Most sharks give birth to live baby sharks instead of laying eggs. A shark's skin looks smooth and slippery. If you stroke a shark one way, it will feel smooth. But if you stroke it the other way, ouch, your hand may be cut and bleeding. A shark's body is covered with a hard material that looks and feels like bits of sharp teeth. Wow, I didn't know that, Apollo. Did you? No. Do all sharks look alike? No, 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 no. There are about 250 different kinds of sharks that we know of. Here is what some of them look like. Look, they have the nurse shark, the freshwater shark, or thresher shark, I mean, the hammerhead shark, the tiger shark. Ooh, I've heard tiger sharks can be vicious. There's the great white. Tiger sharks can eat, eat whatever they see. Yeah. Then the great white shark. We hear a lot about those. Then the basking shark. Just basks. And that's the whale shark. This, yeah, the biggest one is the whale shark. But and very gentle, the whale shark. And then there's a the dogfish shark. You know what I don't see on this page? A pygmy shark. Which is like the smallest shark, I think. Oh, like a lemon shark. Oh, a lemon shark. Oh, yeah. A lemon shark, too. Well, when do sharks attack people? Shark experts do not know all of the answers, but they agree on these four. A large shark may attack someone if it is very hungry. You don't have to worry about small sharks. Sharks mate at certain times of the year. A person swimming in the water where sharks are mating may be attacked. A fish struggling on a fisherman's line sets the water in motion. The water vibrates, and these vibrations bring sharks swimming in from far away. The smell of blood in the water also attracts sharks. So it's not wise to hold a bleeding, struggling fish while in the water. The shark might aim for the fish, but bite the person by mistake. Even harmless sharks will sometimes attack if they are annoyed. Once a diver was showing off to his friends. He caught a nurse shark by the tail, then let it go. Suddenly, the nurse shark turned and bit him on the leg. Well, it doesn't show a picture of it, 
But obviously he annoyed that nurse shark, huh? Yep. Ooh, here's somebody scuba diving. All are are all sharks dangerous? No, most sharks seem to be afraid of people. Many scuba divers say that shark that the sharks they meet swim away from them. Of course, sharks can be a real danger, but it is much smaller danger than most people think. Of all the different kinds of sharks in the world, only about 30 kinds are dangerous. Hmm. Well, that's good that not all sharks are dangerous, right, Apollo? Yep. Yeah. Now, what sharks are the most dangerous? Some people call the great white shark white death. It is the most dangerous shark, but hardly anyone ever sees it. It does not often come into the shallow waters where most people swim. This here is a mako shark. The bull shark, however, does come into shallow water, and it has probably attacked more people than any other shark. The mako shark is one of the fastest sharks in the sea. People don't have time to swim to safety if a mako shark is after them. Other dangerous sharks are the blue shark, the tiger shark, and the strange-looking hammerhead shark. The carpet shark, sometimes called the wabigong shark, is found in Australia. It rests on the bottom of the sea by day, and its colors look so much like part of the sea bottom that sometimes a swimmer steps right on the shark. Then the shark is likely to attack the swimmer. So, so it's easy for it to get prey. No, yeah, well, it's camouflage, so yeah. But... The, uh, so it sounds like the bull shark or any of the sharks that come into shallow water are the biggest threat. The great white, which people fear, is apparently not that big of a threat. Because it stays out in deeper water. Now, this is a basking shark. Interesting. What sharks are harmless? Well, it would take pages and pages to list all of the harmless sharks in the world. There would be more than 200 different kinds in the list. The biggest fish in the world is a whale shark, and it is not likely to attack anyone. Swimmers have even taken rides on the backs of whale shark. Whale shark feed on small fish and on plankton, the tiniest living things in the sea. Another harmless giant is the basking shark. It has hardly any teeth. Sometimes a harmless shark turns mean. Sometimes one kind of shark is more dangerous in one place than it is in another place. Scientists don't know all the answers why. But they're trying to find out. So sometimes they're more dangerous in certain areas, huh? Yep. That's weird. What is the biggest shark and what is the smallest shark? Well, the whale shark is the biggest shark. It is also the biggest fish in the world. It grows to be 50 feet long, bigger than two big station wagons. It weighs 15 tons. That's how much six big cars weigh. The smallest adult shark can fit in the palm of your hand, and it is only four or five inches long. The Japanese named it... Suranagapitozame. The word means the dwarf shark. With a long face. The name on this page is as long as the shark. This is how big the dwarf shark is, Apollo. Look, the name on its page is as big as the dwarf shark. Come look. See, from there to Suranagapitozame. That's it. That's how big the shark is. And it says, whoa. It's not very big. It could fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah, it looks like a... It's like as big as a salmon. Mm -hmm. Well, there's salmon that are bigger than that. All right. Where do sharks live? Well, sharks live in waters all over the world. Almost all sharks live in oceans. A few sharks live in warm rivers and bays. The bull shark sometimes goes back and forth from the ocean to rivers mostly in the hotter places of the world. Most sharks are found in warm waters, but some kinds of sharks live in cold waters. And 
A few kinds even live in icy waters. Some scientists think that sharks may move to warmer waters at certain times of the year. What do baby sharks do, Apollo? Or what do baby sharks look like? Shark babies are fully formed when they are born. They look like small copies of the adult sharks. Shark babies are called pups. Some sharks have only one or two pups at a time. Other sharks can have as many as 100 pups at a time. A tiger shark has about 40 or 50 pups. Each one is about two feet long, about as long as a fully grown cat. Why do you think they call the sharks, the baby sharks, pups, Apollo? I don't know. Maybe they follow their mom around like a puppy. I don't know. How does the mother shark care for her pups? Well, she doesn't! Ha ha! What a terrible mother a shark is. Shark pups are on their own the minute they are born. They are... Like, like bald pythons. Mm-hmm. Snakes. Yeah, exactly. Like like ball python snakes. Same thing. They're like, hey, I made the effort of getting rid of you. Get out of here, shark babies. They are born knowing how to swim, and they are born with teeth, and they can defend themselves right away. So a mother shark does not eat right after her pups are born. This is probably a good thing for her shark pups. What if she ate some of her babies? Ah! Well, soon the mother shark will leave her pups and swim away. Some pups are born in shallow waters. When the mother shark leaves, the pups stay behind to eat and grow. When the winter comes, they may travel to warmer waters. No adult shark travels with them. This is a picture of a blue shark and her pups. Paulo, do sharks eat other sharks? What do you think? What do you think, Paulo? Do sharks eat other sharks? No. You don't think so? Yeah. Well, the answer is yes. Small sharks are often part of a large shark's meal. And some large sharks, like the hammerhead, eat other large sharks. When the water is churned up, the vibrations in the water can start a feeding frenzy, and sharks will race in from all directions. They'll go wild. They may attack anything they can reach. They have been known to rush at a ship's propeller and even to chew up a wooden oar on a boat. If a shark is bitten or slashed by some shark's fin, other sharks will turn on it. They may even attack it and eat it, even if it is one of their own kind. Polo, what else do sharks eat? What do you think sharks eat? Sharks. Well, besides other sharks. Besides other sharks, clay. Hmm, possibly. Well, a shark's favorite food is freshly killed fish. Or a dolphin, even. If the shark can find a dead one or a wounded one... Healthy dolphins and many big fish are usually far too fast for a shark to catch. But when these creatures are wounded or dying, or are too young to defend themselves, they may become a meal for some shark. What does wounded mean? If they're wounded, if they're injured, like they have a cut, or they can't swim fast because their fin is cut, or something like that. This is a hammerhead shark. The great white shark can eat creatures half of its own size. One 15-foot great white shark was captured with two whole sandbar sharks inside of it. Each of them was as big as a grown person. When there is not enough fresh fish around, sharks may gobble anything. The tiger shark will swallow almost anything that it will fit into its mouth. Inside one tiger shark, fishermen found a leather wallet, without any money, of course, a broken alarm clock, and a collection of nuts and bolts. Hammerhead sharks will often eat stingrays. The tail of a stingray has one or two poisonous spines, but that doesn't seem to bother the hammerhead. Poor stingrays. This right here is a picture of a sand tiger shark. 
How often do sharks have to eat? Well, most all sharks can go for a hey, long... That's the, what? Hey, that's the front. That is the front picture. You're right. It's a sand tiger shark. So, how often do you, do you think sharks need to eat, Apollo? A lot. Mm, well, because they have a lot of babies. You might be surprised. Most all sharks can go for a long time without food because of their liver. A shark's liver is full of oil and fats. These oil and oils and fats can keep a shark going for a very long time, sometimes even for months between meals. How do sharks find their food, Apollo? How do you think they find it? I don't know. Hmm. Well, a shark uses all of its senses to find its food. Smelling, seeing, hearing, touching, and feeling. A shark's sense of smell is very, very sharp or acute. It can follow the smell of blood across miles of ocean, just one drop, and find exactly where it's coming from. Whoa. That's pretty amazing, huh, Apollo? Yeah. Smelling blood for miles, a drop of blood miles away. That's really, that's quite a skill. Mm -hmm. Sharks use their eyes to hunt for food, too. Sharks can see about 50 feet away in clear water. Eight motorcycles in a row measures about 50 feet. Sharks see better in dim light than in bright light. Maybe that's why they hunt for food mostly at dawn and after sunset. You can't see a shark's ears because they are inside of the shark's head. Where are the ears, Apollo? Inside the shark's head. Inside the shark's head. That's crazy. Now, scientists made tests to learn about the shark's sense of hearing. The scientists put a microphone into the water. They taped the sounds made by a big fish that was thrashing around. Then they played back the tapes through underwater loudspeakers. Sharks rushed in and swam directly to where the sounds were coming from. So they tested the sharks. Wow. Every shark has a kind of combination sense of hearing and a sense of feeling. This is due to the lateral line system which runs along the shark's body and onto its head. The lateral line system helps the shark hear and feel vibrations made by fish moving as far as 100 feet away. A shark will sometimes bump into a fish before it eats it. Scientists say sharks have special cells in their skin. By bumping into a fish, a shark can feel if the fish would be good to eat. A basking shark lets its food find it. It swims slowly with its mouth open. As water passes through its mouth, tiny fish and plankton get caught in its gill raker, a kind of strainer. The tail of a thresher shark is half as long as its body. It uses its long tail to toss small fish into its mouth. Holy moly! Did you hear that, Apollo? What? This thresher star shark has a really long tail, and it can actually use that tail to fling fish into its mouth. Whoa. That is quite the skill. Thresher shark. <laughs> well, how do sharks use their teeth, Apollo? How do sharks use their teeth? What do you think? You don't know how they use their teeth? Maybe to chomp you! <laughs> yeah, to eat, of course. Well, sharks use their teeth to bite and tear and crush food, but they do not use their teeth for chewing. Oh, they don't chew. They bite and crush and tear. Most sharks have more than four rows of teeth. The teeth in the front row do all of the work. New teeth move up from the row behind. The new teeth push out the teeth in the front row. Sharks get a new set of teeth every two weeks. In 10 years, a tiger shark may use up as many as 24,000 teeth. Dun, dun, dun. That's a lot of teeth to go through. I wish I could regrow that many teeth. I wish I could regrow my teeth every time I lose Oh, ah, yeah. Well, you haven't lost a single tooth yet. A great white shark may... You're never gonna lose, lose teeth. You, well, you'll lose one set. 
A great white shark may attack but from if below. I don't my second set. I hope not either. So a great white shark Apollo may attack from below. Its powerful jaws snap shut on its prey. The shark's body shakes violently from side to side. Its sharp teeth tear off as much as 15 pounds of flesh. Jaws of the lemon shark. Blum, blum, blum. What do shark's teeth look like? Well, like this. Every kind of shark has different teeth. A scientist can look at a single tooth and know what kind of shark it came from. Some sharks have teeth that are good for cutting or grasping or crushing. This is what the tooth of a great white shark looks like. This drawing shows the tooth of a full-grown great white shark. The drawing is the same size as the real shark's tooth. Whoa, their tooth is like only a little smaller than my fingers. All right, so... Polo, do sharks have enemies? Yes. Who's the enemy of a shark? I don't know. How about a black and white whale? What do you call that? A spoiler whale? A killer whale! But let's see what the book says. Yes. Some sharks kill other sharks, but it is people who are the shark's greatest enemies. Ah. Oh. We're the shark's greatest enemies, Apollo. People use different parts of sharks for different things. Shark skin is stronger than cowhide, so shark skins are treated like leather and used to make shoes and belts and pocketbooks. Shark teeth are used to make jewelry. Shark fins are used to make soup. Shark meat is eaten by people all over the world. This is a pilot fish. This is a ground shark with a remora. Do sharks have friends? Well, sort of. Maybe you wouldn't call them friends, but two kinds of fish travel with sharks all the time. The pilot fish travels with the shark. Fish. Yeah, th that's the remora, probably. The pilot fish travels it's with the, the shark. Remora. Yeah. When the shark eats, the pilot fish gets scraps. And the pilot fish is protected from the big fish who don't dare get close to a shark. What does the shark get in return? Well, nothing. People once thought that the pilot fish led sharks to the fish they feed on. Well, they don't. Sharks have no trouble finding their own food. Remoras travel with sharks too. A remora has a disc on the top of its head. It uses the disc to fasten itself to the shark. The remora uses the disc to attach itself right here. Dun. Well, that's interesting. Helps clean them, right? When a shark eats, remoras swim off to pick up the food scraps. Then they come back to the shark and attach themselves to the body again. Many sharks carry two or more remoras. The remora gets a free ride and it gets food too. What does the shark get in return? Well, it gets a cleaning. The remora will pick off tiny parasites from the shark. When two very different kinds of animals live together in this way, scientists call it symbiosis. Symbiosis simply means living together. What does symbiosis mean, Apollo? What? What does symbiosis mean? What? Symbiosis. I don't know. We just read it. It means living together. Are you paying attention? No. Oh. Well, we're almost done. So, are sharks in danger of disappearing? Sharks have been around for 350 million years, and it is likely that they will be around for millions more. Why shouldn't they be? They have hardly any enemies in the sea to kill them off. Baby sharks can take care of themselves, so most of them grow to be adult sharks. Unless something horrible happens, like all of the waters freezing or becoming poisoned, the chances are good that the shark is here to stay. What do scientists want to find out about sharks? Well, there's still a lot scientists don't know about sharks. Scientists want to find out more about how sharks behave. Then they might find the answers to why sharks attack and what can be done to stop the attacks. They are not sure how long sharks live, and they want to find out why sharks are seen in one place while just a few miles away there are no sharks at all. 
Scientists have made tests with sharks. They know that sharks can tell the difference between certain shapes and sizes. For example, they want to know what else sharks are able to do and what kinds of things sharks can learn. What scientists learn from sharks can of can be of help to people. Many scientists are working with sharks trying to find new ways to cure disease. That's interesting. I wonder what diseases. This is the tiger shark. And that is the end of our book on sharks, Apollo. Dun 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 the end. Sharks. Wanna say adios to the internet, Apollo? Adios! Adios! adios. Bum, bum.